let's just get one thing straight. I don't blame you for the setbacks and downfalls of my people. I don't blame you for the Middle Passage and its indoctrination of enslavement. I don't blame you for a judicial system that is set up against the oppressed. And I'm not here to make you out to be the villain as I portray the victim. I don't see you as the monster or puppet master pulling all the strings. I don't even blame you for police brutality, privatized prisons, or the persecutions by way of profiling. I don't blame you for any hidden agenda, the war on drugs, three strikes you're out, or the media's stigma that color coats the black community as anything less than. But I will blame you for the quick ride to Starbucks, for a grand latte combined with a pumpernickel bagel spreaded with chive cream cheese and ignore the stats that tallies up all the casualties of unarmed black men. I will blame you for the five mile jog down Blackstone Boulevard, running past somebody's black son, being pulled over, taken out of his car, spread eagle, handcuffed, all while their rights are violated. As if it's just another beautiful Saturday morning interrupted by this scenery. I blame you for your non-facted attitude, not because of your status, but of your stance. You've grown into your white male Republican conservative headliner that I've become a footnote, a conversational piece unto which becomes avoided, like a leper you're stuck with on an elevator. I blame you for your silence. That tells me more about you than I need to know. Being mute to the discrepancies of injustice reveals where you stand, what road you're on. Because it damn sure isn't the same path that evens out the playing fields of equality. You've become invisible, running from conflict, afraid to lose your comfort ability, stuck in a puddle of excuses. That gets you to play it safe. Black on black crime. Fake news. He has a prior record. He feared for his life. This has become the Rolodex of justifications for every black man executed before trial is even given. America has blood on her hands. Full of black body bags and an overflowing of black toe tags, 400 years of oppression, Jim Crow's depression, whitewashing a history lesson, and you're still second guessing why my community seems stagnant and at a standstill? But I'm not going to blame you for that. I only blame you for your censorship and your turn back. I don't expect you to feed me. I don't need any of your handouts. Hell, I don't expect a hand up. But in this race called life, try to put your feet at the starting line like the rest of us. Then we'll see how far your silence will take you.